Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to use a custom font for the mobile menu of your Squarespace website. You can use a font that's already installed on your site or install a custom one, and I'll show you how to do both of those in my demo site. Let's get started. Alrighty, here we are in my demo site. If you scroll down, I actually have three different code names that we're going to use with custom CSS today, and I'll show you why each one is important. Let's start with this very first one, and we're going to hop into design and then scroll down to custom CSS at the bottom. Now let's go ahead and open up this mobile menu so we can see what we're working with. I'm going to select mobile preview and then click on this icon to open up my menu. Now inside my custom CSS panel, I'm going to paste the words header menu open A, open up a curly bracket and say font family and I'll just say serif, a standard font family. Now check it out. Every single link in my mobile menu has now changed to serif, including the site title and the button at the bottom. If you already have a font installed on your site, meaning you're using it somewhere else, you can use the name of that font to change this as well. Um, I know I have the font sale installed on my demo site, so adding that, everything's now been updated to that custom font. But let's say you have a font you want to install. How do we do that? I'll go ahead and remove this line of code right here, and we'll start by saying at font face, and I'll open up a curly bracket, and we'll say font family, and let's name this font uh, fancy font. There we go. And now I'm going to scroll down here and see where it says manage custom files. Clicking on that button, I can drag and drop my font file right here into my Squarespace website. Now let's go ahead and add a semicolon and we'll say src URL, open up parentheses and click manage custom files. Clicking on that font will now create the font face fancy font. All right, we're almost done with this. We're going to open up a new line. We're going to say header menu open A and we'll say font family fancy font. And check it out. Everything is now updated to match that fancy font that I just installed. Now this code is listed in the description below. Super quick recap. We said font face, font family, and then we gave it a name. Oops, I don't want to move that letter. There we go. Then we gave it a name added a semicolon and said SRC URL and then pasted the URL for that particular font that we uploaded to Squarespace. And how did we upload it? Manage custom files and just dragged and dropped it right in there. Clicking on that font file places it there in the code. Now I've doubled the URL so I'm going to undo what I just did. There we go. Clicking on that will place the URL right here into my code for me. After that, I told the browser, hey, when the header menu's open, take those active links and assign that font family to them, and everything got updated. Now, let's say you don't want to change everything. I only want to change this, uh, the links inside the menu here, not the site title and not the button. There's a code for that. I'm going to close this and scroll down, so I've got it right here on my site. This code right here says when the menu is open, take any active link within that folder and customize it with this code. So I'm going to paste that right here, and now it'll say when the header menu is open, take that navigation folder, any active links there, assign that fancy font menu. Let's check it out. There we go. We can also change just the button. If I remove this text right here and say header menu open dot btn, that's kind of shorthand if you will, shorthand for saying change that to the fancy font family, and there we go. Now that wraps it up for the step-by-step -step on how to use a custom font for the mobile menu of your Squarespace website. Remember that you can do any active link on there using header menu open A, or just the active links for the pages in your menu. That's going to be inside that folder content. Let me double check what that code name is. There we go. Header menu open, header menu nav folder content A. And if all you want to change is the button, that's header menu open dot BTN. That's the shorthand. But don't worry, I wrote all three of those in the description below. So you can just copy and paste it right out of this video description and add it to the custom CSS of your own website. Now, if you want to change something about this mobile menu, about those specific links, be it the color, or the layout, uh, the alignment, if you will, if you want them aligned to the left or the right or the center. Those are all settings that are built right into Squarespace, no custom code required. I have a few walkthroughs listed in the description below, so you can check out the step-by-step -step training videos on how to make those changes inside Squarespace without custom CSS. But that wraps it up for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you want to learn more about customizing your Squarespace site, I post a brand new tutorial just like this one every single Tuesday right here on YouTube, so be sure to subscribe. Thanks again for watching, and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. 
If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I took all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace and put them into one gigantic PDF. Available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.